Now, I'm going to preface anything you say by saying that I'm absolutely a simp for Hassan. So don't be <laughs> mad at me, Hassan. Um, so without further ado, take it away, Cole. Listen, first of all, I want to preface Hassan, my dude. You know, when I got in a debate with another um, debate bro and kind of threatened that individual, Hassan understood why I did it. <laughs> okay. That was actually the last time I spoke to him because I DM'd him about mm. that. He's like, yeah, Michael says you cool. And I'm like, yeah, Hassan's always been a good dude. And I also want to say, you know, Andre, you know, rocks with Hassan. You know, he's been on a show, et cetera. Like, like it's, this isn't, this is all jokes. But is it though? Because according to Chank Uger, who spoke to my good friend, who I mentor, the young up and coming Ravana, shout out to Ravana, you know, yes. uh, from TYT, says that Hassan played a basketball game with Dave Rubin. We're having a ball. Okay? And that Dave Rubin, Crossed him up, i.e. did a crossover and or took him to the rack so bad that Hassan's back injuries that he complains about are literally from Dave Rubin. I mean, you know, as the kids would say, sounds like Dave Rubin blew Hassan back out. Um, <laughs> now, when asked, now, formerly known as Andre Gibney's brother Q, now when Hassan asked Q to come on and talk about, you know, when the riots were happening, you know, Hassan's always looked at Q to, you know, give him a good perspective. You know, things like that, right? Q actually on Twitter said, hey, you know, your uncle and things like that. The streets are saying that you got crossed up by Dave Rubin. Hassan replied, now, you know, the number one money-making political streamer in our ecosystem. Don't just be replying. He <laughs> replied with something like, oh, I didn't get, you know, but we did play. We did play. Now, shout out to Marcus of Left Link Vets, black man, me. Black man, cute black man. When we see that, oh, so a game took place, but you're not saying what happened in the black community. That's a that's cause for response. Okay. <laughs> now, I'm not saying Hassan doesn't care about black issues. I mean, I literally covered a three part series about how in Tennessee they're jailing those kids. These they were jailing these kids for made up crimes, etc. But right now, this is a basketball issue. This supersedes that as a black issue. Okay, Hassan? <laughs> All right, like, this is the number one issue in, 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 in black America on as far as Twitch right now. Dave Rubin crossing anyone up. First of all, apparently Dave Rubin is six feet tall. Dave Rubin is six Dave feet tall. Rubin? I was like, okay, so he can ball. Apparently no. Dave Rubin can ball. We need a fact check on this. I, I refuse to believe anything hey, about Dave Rubin. Now, that listen, <laughs> this is according to his uncle, Chank Uger. This is corroborated by Ray Vonda, But listen to me, Mike. I have contacted one of the upper echelon, the face of TYT. I will not reveal who they are. And I texted. I said, hey, you know, Hassan, blah, 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 this and that. Like, do you think you could come on? You know, they were like, even if it's just for 15 minutes, I am busy, but I will pull up. I will. Oh pull. I was like, so I've been tweeting Hassan, Q tweeted Hassan, this and that, and he's not replying. Now it's okay to ask black people to come on his show, this and that and the other to cover it. We good with that, right? That's cool. I told you Hassan always been cool, right? But when black people ask to come on black shows to talk about, hey, you know, did you get crossed up by Dave Rubin? Let me tell you something. If Dave Rubin crossed me up, I'm committing a flagrant foul on that court right then and there. <laughs> Okay, I am not allowing high level ideas to do me dirty like that on the court. Okay, that's not gonna happen. Um, you know, and I'm just thinking, uh, shout out to my friend Michael Brooks, you know, RIP. Shout out to my father, Sam Cedar. Um, you know, I gotta be honest, Mike. If you know, he's not gonna respond, maybe you know, I know you saw you got your fans to unratio a video, maybe you could mm -hmm. have him ask, Hey, can you guys ask Hassan why? Why won't you come on Log Off already? Our non politics show that I have with Andre Domis and uh, Nia Cola. Shout out to Nia Cola, my economist at Queer Money, Queer underscore Money. One of your first uh, supporters, uh, Mike, as I told you. With that said, y'all need to tweet Hassan and ask, when are you going to come and answer Andre Domis and Nicole James Cash about black issues like you getting crossed up by Dave Rubin? <laughs> All we want him to do is come on. You know, all we want him to do is come on and answer these questions. Marcus from Left Flank Vets wants to know too. I mean, Shank ain't lying. Ravana can cooperate, and one of the main members of TYT is willing to come on. Yet, I guess you know when you when you when you're doing a black show, you with black people. 
I guess, you know, you got to wait for, you got to wait for the white man to just reach down and give you that Hassan stimulus package. <laughs> You know, okay, how, you know how Drake, you know how Drake be doing the, you know, like yo guest on songs. That's the Drake stimulus. This is a Hassan stimulus right here. Man. I'm sorry. Okay. okay, I'm done. <laughs> this this is the most investigative journalism I've seen on something since <laughs> fucking uh, Watergate. Like this is this is incredible. The digging that you did to uncover the details. I mean, Mike, I literally, te- <laughs> I literally have teamed with Brooke Binkowski on this anti mass stuff. Shout out to Brooke Minkowski, one of the best debunkers in the world in America. And I told her about this. She's like, what? This happened? Quite delicious. You know, the real, Mike, thank you being Humanist Report Means TV. Thank you for covering the real issue. This isn't about Hassan and all the money he make in the mansion. No, 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 no. Because when you step on that court, Hassan, it's just you. Okay? It's just you. Can nobody save you? But you can save yourself getting roasted from black people on Twitch by appearing on the show. That's all you got to do. If, if that, honestly, if if him going on your show stops him from getting roasted, I honestly would make the case that this is good for the left overall. Like, yes. we have to bury this story. And if you're actually threatening to release this story, this could hurt the left. I mean, you know, I, I mean, mean, we're not trying to expand on it, but we need him there. We need him to show up. If you could just ask your fans to ask him, you know, I'm just an innocent American immigrant with questions. Okay. That's Folks. Uh, now, you know what, Cole, you don't get to play that when you're trying to give Dave Rubin credibility, Dave Rubin. <laughs> this is it, serious. Every day he ignores ignores us, us, oh. It gives Dave Rubin the credibility. You're right. <laughs> you're right. Every day he ignores us. It gives credibility to Dave Rubin <laughs> that you got done dirty on that basketball. Court, uh. The thought of Dave Rubin like actually one upping anyone on anything it does it does honestly hurt me and sends me to a dark place. So I want it to be wrong, but I suspect that is true. But I would love for Hassan to go on your program. Thank you and debunk this. I, I absolutely you. unequivocally endorse this because Hassan, we have to bury this story. It it can't. I mean, Cole's not bluffing. Cole's gonna release no. release the. No. He's gonna spill it. He's gonna release the tapes. Is there I tapes? Mean, I mean, no, am I, am I... I mean, Shank ain't lying. Shank ain't never lying. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Shank ain't never lying. You know? <laughs> this is serious. This is a serious situation. Yes. And yes. I'm... Either way, either way, um, I hope that the best outcome is is what happens, and that is to protect the left by <laughs> never giving Dave Rubin a win so Hassan is on their program. the perspective that, yes, it is harming the left the yeah, entire left. This. Yes. You can't let these things linger. You know? Oh you my can't God. let these things thank you. Mike, thank you so much, man. Out of everything week I could have said, <laughs> all the political stuff I could have covered. This was this is the real issue. Thank you so much, Mike. Thank Why isn't so anybody else talking about this? I feel like I, this I, is I, kind of a big thing. I don't know, man. A lot I mean, of people are, would you would you let me just ask because you're basically you're 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 on the ground now. You're a journalist. Yes. Um, would this make me a journalist for covering this? Do I get I think, to graduate think, from commentator to journalist for covering this? Is this is Pulitzer level. This is Pulitzer level revelations here, because wow. like I said, you have the face, and I told you who it was offline. The mm-hmm. face of Tyt who says absolutely, even if it's just fifteen minutes, you know how busy they are. Okay, and then you have Ravana from <laughs> Tyt. I mean, come on, like like. Is Hassan afraid? Uh, did he leave TYT because of what happened with Dave Rubin? We don't know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the, see, we can only ask him. How quickly the left wants to eat their own. How I know. quickly the We're left will eat their it. own. We're trying to, I, I said, Marcus. We're part of the problem. Marcus from Left Lake Vets, don't do it to him, please. Let's just wait. And Marcus like, okay, all right. <laughs> you know, but, but, I, mean, the, I mean, last thing I have to say is Hassan, do you love black people? <laughs> Only time will tell when you when you come on. Recovery mode, my brain ideas. Recovery mode, my brain ideas.